Mwah. Kisses to all of my kisses and welcome back to my channel. I have a book here from June 2006. If you're interested in knowing what kind of outfits and what my style was when I was a stripper back in 2006, stay tuned. What was my style like in June 2006? That is a very long time ago. Wow. <laughs> okay. So when I worked at the club, at the time I was at Tootsie's Cabaret, which is a club out here in um, North Miami, I should say. I worked at the original Tootsie's. Right now, the Tootsie's that is up and running today was not the original Tootsie's. The Tootsie's that you have now is a like an old Costco's warehouse. It's that big. The club is so big that we park indoors. Like the entertainers have to drive inside of the building and we have private parking inside this huge building. If you've ever been to a BJ's or a Costco's or, or a Sam's Club, it is that big. It is huge. It's two floors, has a sports bar. It is a beautiful, beautiful club. It has themed rooms. It has multiple stages. I mean, there's always a lot going on inside that strip club. So I started off at the small one, which I also have pictures of that as well in a different album that goes prior to this one. But I wanna show you guys what my makeup was like and what my outfits were like. Let's get started. Um, let's see. Let me give you some of the outfits. I, okay, so. <laughs> I had a completely different sense of stripper fashion, I should say. Um, this is before I got my nose done, but after I already had my crowns done. And I would wear the 8-inch stiletto heels. So those are clear 8-inch heels. I absolutely love those heels. Believe it or not, these heels have less of an arch than the six inch heels because the platform is a lot taller. So this was one of my looks. I always have like this, I don't know, like I guess hip hop type of a vibe. Some of these I can't obviously show you, but I'm gonna try to show you what I can. Oh darn, I, you don't realize how many pictures you actually can't show until you actually have to show them. <laughs> um, wait <laughs> okay here we go this was one of my like army petite ones i was always in like a little theme and i loved leg warmers because the clubs get really really cold so this is inside tootsie's cabaret this is so crazy <laughs> like looking back at all oh this is a cute outfit i guess i could show you this one too let me just cover the nudity on this on the side there's like nude girls in the background so can't show that but that was a very cute outfit it was all lace this is the club where i tell you that they had the tailor inside so you walk into the so you park inside the building then you walk through this long hallway and when you go in through the door on the right when you first go into your left the first thing you see to your left is the cashier. Like, you got to pay to work there. So come pay your money, and then you can go to your locker room. But past the cashier, there's, like, a whole room where there's a tailor. And she actually makes our clothes for us. Um, let me show you some of my... I was always, like, on top of something. Climbing on top of something, doing something. The locker rooms are so big, so spacious. I love that hair. I got that hair done in New York City. Those are the micro links, but with the rubber bands, not with the metal actual linkage part. This was a cute outfit too. Um, that was made at the club itself by the lady that makes our clothes. And I would always like over accessorize a lot of bracelets, a lot of necklaces. <sighs> when I tell you, I used to kill it. I used Kill it. Um, this one, the shirt says, I'm just one big fucking ray of sunshine, aren't I? Question mark. That's what this shirt says, in case you were wondering. So I would do ensembles like this, like little wife beaters that were cut off, a little bit on the rugged look, yet yeah, really pretty soft makeup. I was always like on the edgy side as a dancer. And if you ask me what kind of fashion sense I take to better, 
versus a white club or a black club i love the way the black club is dressed like first of all strip clubs are segregated <laughs> There is, I, now, now looking back at it, I'm like, holy crap, there are white clubs and there are black clubs. So basically, Tootsie's Cabaret is the white version of King of Diamonds. Um, King of Diamonds is now closed, but they just opened up a club on uh, May 23rd, 2019 called Queen of Diamonds. Um, so that just opened up. There's, I mean, there's a lot of like controversy with these clubs sometimes. This was also like... <clears throat> this was back in June 28, 2006. And the dates obviously are stamped right there, but that was like a vampire type of a mysterious. Like, and this is before I got my nose done. So I actually wanted to go back and get a second um, rhinoplasty and get my breast one size bigger. Like if it were to me and I had like the money, definitely. So let me keep going here. <laughs> I have a shirt that says, vote it most likely to steal your boyfriend. <laughs> really, my face. I look crazy in that one. But this is a better look at the actual makeup. I love those hair extensions. That eye makeup is amazing. Let's see. This, look at this eye makeup. That is like, see I had like a little cut off shirt with the missing arm on one side. It said army just I always like that different, I know, I need to get my nose done. I always like that different, kind of like, um, it was more like, this one, I think this was a very, like, I love this look. I think it's really, really Caribbean, I would say. It has like the clear mesh here with like the tanned coconut colored swimsuit and then I have like coral accessories with the curly wet hair. I just thought it was so pretty. I used to I used to make a lot of money with this look. A lot of money with this look. And I'm talking about I was caking it, okay? You hear me? I was getting it. <laughs> My money was serious. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So much history. If you guys want any back end stories on any one of these outfits, a story comes with one of these outfits. Because <laughs> I can call, I can recall things now because obviously I'm looking at the pictures and I'm like, oh shoot, I remember this and I remember that. And it's just, it's just amazing to have like, this kind of history and this is why I'm working on writing my book because you know it's not just talking about it it's really having everything to back up what you're saying I don't think any one stripper has ever documented so much like this is just crazy this is just crazy I mean there's thousands of pictures it's insane <laughs> did anyone notice this though <laughs> probably not until I pointed it out, his face. That was one of our um, dressing room like managers. He also worked the floor. But at the time, before he got promoted, he was just like a bouncer. He was super cool, very, very nice guy. Wow, this is a long time ago. I'm gonna show you, I guess, one more of my crazy looks. Let's see. Oh my God, I just I have a picture of someone I used to have a crush on. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, I can't, sh oh, okay. So I was gonna show you guys one more and I actually can't because my breasts are showing on that one. So let me see, maybe I can just get one more. 
This was my very first, I'm gonna show you guys my very first um, BMW. This was like my first high-end car that I was able to get on my own, working as an entertainer within just like a few months of starting to work at, um, at Totis Cabaret. So here is my very first high-end car that I owned. I love that car. The 745 BMW. I had just gotten the rims painted to match the actual color of the car. And this was back in June 19, 2006. Oh my God. You guys, I love these kind of like recalls is what I like to call them. Wow. Just amazing. This was, believe it or not, the girl that, these are all like, I always used to take pictures every single time. Um, this girl used to do my makeup. Right now, she's the makeup artist for Kelly Rowland, Oprah, Serena Williams. Um, she's done Obama's wife. Like, she is up there. And I, ha I still have like, how, basically when she first started, she would always do my makeup and I have like a bunch of different, this is before I got my nose done as you could tell, it was a lot wider there. But I have so many pictures of every single time she did my makeup. It's just insane. There's just makeup on top of makeup on top of makeup. And now she is like one of the top makeup artists for amazing celebrities and sports um, figures. And I think it's great. So congratulations to her. Wow, this is so, this is so amazing. So amazing. You guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video, taking you down memory lane, I guess, back from my stripper chronicles. They are endless, endless diaries and endless photo books. There's so much. If you guys want any story times backing up any one of these photos or future story times, please thumbs up this video. I would love to bring you story times. I am working on a book that I want to release in regards to my entire life and what my experiences were like working at a strip club, the kind of people I've met, the kind of <laughs> things I've experienced. And it was a lot of things. So I really do appreciate your time and I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.